Welcome to this NMP flight video tutorial. This video will explain the focus alerts feature of flight. To get into the dialog, I can either via a column header select manage alerts or via the settings or cog icon select manage alerts. That opens a dialog which gives access to the focus alerts and also the user alerts. The user alerts will be subject of another video. So for the focus alerts, I can select if I would like any of the categories to be marked as a high, medium or low, or I can leave them with no focus alert set. So in this case, I'm gonna select flight suspended and diversion as being of high importance to me EOBT validity yo-yo and sharp turn as being medium and the rest I'm going to set as having a low priority for me. Click on apply and now my focus alerts have been set and we call them focus alerts because to identify the alerts there are these focus buttons at the top of the screen, high, medium and low. If you open the sub menu, it gives you a count of each category of high, the same with the medium and the low. So in this case, I have got three low alerts because of a ACDM EOBT TOBT mismatch in the medium. I've got two EOBT validity medium alerts and I've got one flight suspended and one diversion. In order to look at those flights in more detail, if I click on one of the categories, so here I'll click on the button high, it takes a copy of the two flights that are in that high category and puts them at the top of the screen so I have easy access to them. If I'm only interested in the diverted flight, I can go into the sub menu and only select the category of diversion. And that only then puts that one flight at the top of my list to analyze, to see if I need to take an action on that. When you click on the button, it cycles through to show them all or show none of them. And the indicator that is shown when it is a single number, it means there are two of those type of alerts, but none of displayed. But if it has two numbers, it is showing that two of the two high alerts are being shown. And if I select the other options, I can show all of the flights that are subject to all of the different levels of focus alerts. And then one more click on each and I'm back to the standard view of the flight list. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.